So here's a closer look at the Amsterdam Speedway Grand Opening Race Special to be driven by driver Devin Freeland. So um, the chassis 043 steel, two rails with a uh, floating body mount uh, also supporting the front wheels. Uh, a little bit of brass up front and we're using a uh, Fox 25k motor uh, geared about 3 to 1 CB designs 5 spoke alloy wheels I had to go a little short on the front because the body I had was already trimmed very low um, I did install this guard because the body is very soft and I wanted to protect the uh, electronics in case of a uh, collision and um, the electronics are uh, M we're using an MPL decoder chip the uh, sensor uh, excuse me the emitter is um, installed in the chassis here very far forward uh, we're using a Franken slot big fat slink Franken slot guide uh, mounted uh, very freely in the uh, steel mount it's very stable uh, and uh, got a skeletric um, cap here for uh, to reduce motor interference uh, just to make sure the electronics stay happy the uh, body weighs um, six grams and this compares to a standard Carrera body uh, at 44 grams the chassis weighs 80 grams as it compares to a Carrera uh, chassis for the NASCAR at 62 grams. The uh, car does pass the uh, magnet rule. It easily comes off uh, the track upside down as it does not have more magnet than a uh, standard Carrera car. In fact, probably a little bit less. Uh, and it's quick uh, in testing it did this so in testing we see that the uh, standard Carrera car running on yellow uh, turned a 473 best lap and used uh, 57 percent uh, or it was down to 57 percent fuel in 10 laps while uh, our car uh, did a 3307 best and used uh, had 71 percent fuel left so it's quicker and more efficient so uh, go get them Devin good luck in the race